Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve the past cat appeared questions for the topic profit and loss. Mostly I am going to take you through the sums that are appeared for the last two years so that you are aware of the concepts that are utilized in the actual cat exam. So let's start. So question number one, this has appeared in CAT 2018. As you all are aware that CAT 2018 had the <laughs> quant which was on the bit of the tougher side. But, uh, so let's go through this question. A wholesaler bought walnuts and peanuts. The price of walnut per kg being thrice that of peanut per kg. Okay, he then sold 8 kg of peanuts at a profit of 10%, 16 kg of walnuts at a profit of 20%. However, a shopkeeper lost 5 kg of walnuts and 3 kg of peanuts in the transit. Okay. He then mixed the remaining nuts and sold the mixture at 166 rupees per kg, thus making an overall profit of 25%. Okay. Now, there are two transactions that are happening over here. The wholesaler is selling it to shopkeeper and then shopkeeper is selling to someone else or the customer in this so we need to make the equations for both these transactions. Now actually CAT 2018 questions were not that difficult. Actually they were lengthy. The shortcuts were not being applicable on in the questions and the calculations were a bit on the tougher side. So everyone thought that the questions were difficult as they utilized or as they took more time to solve. But the concept which was involved in solving this question was still the same which we have learned in the basic videos. Alright, so now let us <coughs> assume or take the cost price of peanuts as x and we know that the walnuts price is thrice of that of peanut. So walnut CP is going to be 3x now we know that the wholesaler sold 8 kg of peanut at 10% profit all right so peanuts were 8 kg and they were sold at a profit of 10% now i know that 16 kg of walnuts were sold at a profit of 20% so the total cost price to the shopkeeper for the shopkeeper is going to be equal to the, the selling price of wholesaler. We have the cost price of the wholesaler. This data is for the wholesaler. And we know the profit percentage of a wholesaler for walnuts as well as peanuts. So we can calculate this very easily. The calculation will be like this 8 kg of peanuts are being sold with cost price x at 10 percent profit so the multiplication factor will be 1.1 plus 16 kg of walnuts of price 3x are sold at 20 percent profit so this turns out to be 66.4x this is the cost price of shopkeeper i hope until now everything is clear to you now we are given that the shopkeeper sold the mixture of 11 kg walnuts and 5 kg peanuts at rupees 166 per kg Initially we had 8 kg of peanuts and we are given that 3 kg of them are lost. So I am left with 5 kg of peanuts. This 5 kg comes from the fact that I had initially 8 and then I lost 3. I had 11 kg of walnuts and I lost 5, I lost 5 kg of walnuts in the transit. Alright. I had 16 minus 5. This is equal to 11. I hope everything is clear until now. So you know how this statement has appeared. 
this is the statement for the shopkeeper let me write the statement once again the shopkeeper is going to sell 11 kg of walnuts plus 5 kg of peanuts at 166 per kg so the total price that the shopkeeper selling price for the shopkeeper is nothing but 16 multiplied by 166 that is 26562 now we know that the shopkeeper sells it at a profit of 25% so the equation is nothing but profit percentage is equal to sp minus cp upon cp multiplied by 100 or simply i can write that cost price multiplied by 1.25 as there is 25 percent profit is equal to my selling price now i do know the selling price over here so let me calculate the cost price by substituting 2656 over here so cost price is equal to 2656 divided by 1.25 so my cost price is equal to 2124.8 rupees now initially we calculated that this is the cost price for overall 66.4x this is the figure that we calculated initially so the overall cost price is going to be 2124.8 divided by 66.4 now we are taking this over here because this is equal to 66.4x so my x is equal to 32 now we are told to calculate the price of walnuts at which the wholesaler bought now we have assumed initially the wholesaler bought it at 3x so 3x is nothing but 32 into 3 that is 96 rupees i hope everything is clear over here now we took 66.4x and equated it to overall cost price because we wanted to find out the cost price for the wholesaler and not the shopkeeper the shopkeeper did lost the peanuts in the transit peanuts as well as walnuts but that was taken care of in this equation now this is the question that has appeared in cat 2018 again we are given that a trader sells 10 liters of the mixture of paints a and b where the amount of b in the mixture does not exceed that of a so b is always less than or equal to a this is the condition that we are given the cost price of a is 8 more than that of paint b if the trader sells the entire mixture for rupees 264 he makes a profit of 10 percent then the highest possible cost of paint b in rupees per liter is okay so we are given that the entire mixture is sold for rupees 264 this is my selling price and this is sold at 10 percent profit so to calculate my cost price my cost price will be nothing but 264 divided by 1.1 because 10 percent profit is there so this turns out to be 240 so 240 rupees per 10 liters so my cost per liter is 24 rupees per liter you are clear until now now we are given that the price of the mixture b is or uh, the cost of paint a per liter is 8 more than that of b now let me assume that b is of x rupees per liter so a is going to be x plus 8 rupees per liter now i have to calculate the maximum cost of b now let me write the equation for the mixture x plus 8 this is the price of the mixture <laughs> this is the quantity of a 
plus x multiplied by b upon 10 is equal to 24. This is the formula which we usually use in the average questions wherein we have to find the amount in which the quantities are taken. So let us assume that A is the quantity of paint A, B be the quantity of paint B, multiplying them by their cost and I know that the cost of the mixture is 24. So this equation is clear to all of you. Now I have to calculate the maximum possible cost of B and I do know that B is less than or equal to A. So B can be maximum equal to phi or maximum equal to A. Now I do know that A plus B is equal to 10 liters and I also know that B's maximum value is equal to A. So substituting A equal to B or B equal to A dot for that matter B turns out to be 5 liter as equal to A. So substituting the value of A and B in this equation I am going to get the value of x is equal to 20. So the cost of paint B which is x rupees per liter is nothing but 20 rupees. I hope this is clear. We were given this condition and which we utilized it over here. So the maximum occurs when both of them are equal and we are given that the mixture of paints A and B is equal to 10 liters. Third question. This question has also appeared in CAT 2018. In this question we are given that there are two types of tea, A and B type. They are mixed and then sold at 40 rupees per kg. The profit is 10% when A and B are mixed in ratio 3 is to 2 and 5% when they are mixed in the ratio 2 is to 3. Find the cost price of A and B. Alright. Now, we know that the selling price of the mixture is equal to 40 rupees per kg. We are also given that initially let me say that A is the quantity of type AT and B be the quantity of type BT. Alright, these are the quantity. Let me write the equation number 1 wherein I am given that when A and B are in ratio 3 is to 2, my profit is 10%. This is given in my first equation. So let us assume that the cost price is equal to x. Now I am given that my selling price has the profit of 10%. So 1.1 times that is my cost price x. 1.1 10% profit multiplied by x is equal to 40. This is nothing but my multiplication factor multiplied by cost price is equal to selling price. I have substituted the values in this formula and got this. So I know that x is equal to 40 upon 1.1. This is my scenario 1 when the ratio of a is to b is 3 is to 2. The quantity of a and b are in ratio 3 is to 2. 3a plus 2b divided by 5 as the ratio of 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 is nothing but 40 upon 1.1. Let this be my equation number 1. On simplification this equation turns out to be 3.3a plus 2.2b is equal to 200. This is my equation number 1. Make a note of it, rewriting it for you again, 3.3a plus 2.2b is equal to 200. This is my equation number 1. Now writing the condition number 2 wherein the profit is 5%. So 1.05 multiplied by cost price which is nothing but x is equal to 40. So my x over here is nothing but 40 upon 1.05 and the ratio of a is to b is 2 is to 3. So the equation becomes 2a plus 3b upon 5 
is equal to 40 upon 1.05 which on simplification turns out to be 2.1a plus 3.15b is equal to 200. This is my equation number 2. Now as you can see the RHS of both the equations are similar so I can equate both of them that is 3.3a plus 2.2b is equal to 2.1a plus 3.15b and I am left with 1.2 times a is equal to 0.95 times b or the ratio of a and b is nothing but a by b is equal to 0.95 upon 1.2 or 19 by 24. This is our required answer which is asked to us in our question. Let's start with this question. This question has appeared in CAD 2017. Now over here we are given that if Fatima sells 60 identical toys at 40% discount on the printed price. So this is our marked price or the printed price or the labeled price which we discussed initially. Then she makes 20% profit. Now 10 of these toys are destroyed in fire. Okay. While selling the rest how much discount, discount should be given on the printed price so that she can make the same amount of profit. Okay. Now over here 60 toys are there. Let us assume that price P for one toy. So the total price of 60 toys is 60p. Now we are given that Fatima sells them at a discount of 40%. So calculating the 40% of 60p which is equal to 24p. So the selling price of 60 toys is 60p minus 24p which is equal to 36p. Now we are given that on this transaction she makes a profit of 20%. So for calculation of cost price, cost price is equal to <coughs> profit percentage multiplication factor. So writing this is equal to selling price. So 1.2 times the cost price is equal to my selling price. And my selling price which we calculated is 36p. So my cost price is nothing but 36p upon 1.2 which is equal to 30p. <coughs> now we are given that 10 of these toys are destroyed in fire. Okay. So the selling price of each for 50 toys is going to be 50p. Now I have to make the same amount of profit. Initially my profit was 6p that is my selling price was 36p and my profit which was made was 36p minus 30p which is equal to 6p. This was the amount of profit which I made earlier. Now I have to make 36p in this transaction also. So the discount that I am going to give will be 50p that is my mark price for 50 toys as 10 of them are destroyed in fire minus 36p that is equal to 14p. So this is my discount which is I am going to offer on the cost price. My cost price in this case is going to be 50p because that is the number of toys which I am going to sell. So on 50p I am offering a price a discount of 14p. So the percentage that I am going to get is 28%. The point to remember over here is the cost price will be 50p because my discount which I am offering <coughs> is on 50p. I hope everyone is clear of with the concept 